Good evening. I have to go to the gym like right now. Like I'm gonna be late because I'm filming this video and actually this is gonna be probably like the most interesting. We interrupt your regular intro with the Deadpool newscaster. This is my microphone. I don't have one. If you have not heard, the Made You Look Twice channel is also uploading beauty looks to match the characters on the Made You Look channel. So for those of you who may not be so ambitious, you guys can also try out Deadpool and beauty form. And you guys can find that on the Made You Look Twice channel. You guys can find wearable beauty looks to match the looks on this channel on Made You Look Twice. I'll put a link in the description below. This is Deadpool Lex. Thank you for watching. Back to you, Deadpool Lex. When I was at the last New York Comic Con, we got chased by like a group of Deadpools and someone was like, Look babe, it's Spider-Man! This is actually the second time I've done Deadpool, so it may seem a little bit complicated at first, but trust me, this is the easiest way to go about doing this. I'm starting off by outlining the general shape of my eyes. I'm then going to outline all of the highlights that are going to be in those patches. And if you guys don't have white contacts, you could also sketch out where your eyes are going to go on your eyelids. I'm doing all of this using a detail brush and black body paint. Now for the rest of the mask, I'm then gonna go in and map out all of my shadows on my face. Lex, why don't you just paint your face red and then put black over that? Trust me, you will confuse yourself. So this way is the easiest that I have found. And since we're sticking with a comic book theme, you can use a reference of the actual comic book. I then mixed white and orange to use that as my highlight on the mask. And I'm just generally filling in where I see all the highlights on the character itself. Now like I said, you guys are probably like, what? But having this tutorial will make it a lot easier for you guys to follow. Now for the rest of the mask, I'm going in with regular red body paint and just filling in everything that's open. You're then going to take a brush with nothing on it and blend all your highlights into the red of the mask. Remember that your fingers are also a tool. For the sake of shading, I'm also going in with dark red eyeshadow and just filling in any more areas that are shaded on the photo than others. Down that center highlight of your face, you're going to take a detailed brush and black body paint and very carefully draw a line. This is the seam of the mask. While you have your black body paint out, you can also fill in all the other sections around your eyes. Don't fill in your highlights. Okay, now you can fill in your highlights using white body paint. And if the black and white smush together in these highlights, that's totally fine, because you're just gonna get a gray, and that's gonna be more of a reflection. To finish up the face, I'm just outlining my entire face as if it were a comic. Now for the body, we're gonna do it backwards. Paint your chest and neck with a red body paint using a foundation brush. I'm then just taking straight up white body paint and blending that in while the paint is still wet on my neck. And I'm going over the highlights of all the muscles and tendons that are in the neck. I'm also kind of finger painting parts of this. As well as highlighting my collarbone and then also my pecs. Mix together red and black and fill in that section in the middle of your neck. as well as fill in any shadows or ink marks that you see in the reference photo. Paint on his collar using black body paint. You can also fill in the comic book lines using black body paint. Now I totally forgot about Deadpool's weapons, and I'm just using brown body paint to blend and add over this red section. In the comic, all the highlights on this strap are more of like an orangey color, so I'm going in with orange and I'm just adding those squares on that strap. As well as outlining that in black body paint and adding some highlights with white. For the black sections of Deadpool's arms, I'm using gray body paint to add some highlights. My camera had died. And then I just added some black body paint around that and blended those highlights in. 